Welcome to Beyond the Beltway, where we take a behind the scenes look at DIA's outreach throughout the community, country, and the world. Here at DIA, we're charged with providing intelligence on foreign militaries and operating environments to prevent and decisively win wars. The Beyond the Beltway series explores how our presence outside Washington, D.C. enables us to play this crucial role in our national security. We're here in Tampa, Florida, on McDill Air Force Base, home of United States Central Command, more commonly known as CENTCOM. U.S. CENTCOM's mission is to direct and enable military operations and activities with allies and partners to increase regional security and stability in support of enduring U.S. interests. CENTCOM has uh, three top operational priorities. First and foremost is implementing the President's strategy in uh, South Asia, specifically in Afghanistan. Second of all is finishing the job that we were sent to Iraq and Syria to do, uh, and that is uh, in the enduring defeat of ISIS uh, in both of those locations, of which we're making extraordinary progress. And then third is to make sure that we address the enduring threat that uh, exists in the CENTCOM area, and that is the threat from Iran. Our job at United States Central Command Directorate of Intelligence is to provide the commander, our components, deployed task forces, as well as policymakers and some of our foreign partners with intelligence to support their operations, decision making, planning, and engagements in order to shape the operational environment to support our national defense strategy. We do this by providing a full spectrum of intelligence support. So in the current Intel Division, we look closely at events that are happening right now and for the next 24 to 48 hours. That allows our uh, co-workers that are working in term analysis to look at strategic level analysis. What's going to happen in the next month, the next year, next five years? We have a variety of analysts that cover all the different states within our AOR. It consists of 20 countries to give the current intelligence laid down, what's happening right now. So our Term Analysis Division was recently created. We focus on the long-term assessments that provide uh, support to not just the commander's efforts, but also to our plan's efforts. And then we are also the ones who work in coordination with, uh, with people in the Beltway, so that we, um, we're addressing things that the Secretary of Defense might have, as well as others in the OSD. So the J3 and the J2, it's probably the most critical relationship. And the reason for that is because of the changing nature of warfare. The proliferation of information technology and the speed with which information is available, the analysis is so much more important and frequently effects are achieved the moment the situation is discovered at the battlefield. The cyber warfare domain is an ever-changing environment. The Cyber Intelligence Branch provides foundational intelligence and situational understanding. We track and report cyber activity in the AOR, as well as any changes in those technologies and use of cyber tools and the adversary's use of these technologies and tools to better inform our commander, as well as his staff and components, and maintain their situational awareness and understanding. Farm artillery exploitation is where we, uh, either through capturing enemy material or enemy equipment, we take that and then we exploit it so that we can gain valuable intelligence and then provide that to the warfighter to help them defeat that system in the future. We work very closely with our service components. We work very closely with DIA, with the JFMPO, with the DAOs, and we try to make sure that it's as streamlined as possible, it's as fast as possible, so we can get that information back into the commander's hands so they can have victory on the battlefield. Foreign engagements are critical to the success of U.S. CENTCOM. It allows us to work closely with our partners to help identify areas of mutual concern to both U.S. CENTCOM and our partners. And then working closely with representatives from those nations, we come up with creative processes um, against complex problem sets. We have a coalition of over 60 countries that are working to promote peace and stability in the CENTCOM AOR. That's one of the biggest coalitions in our history that we've gotten to unite. We've gotten partners to talk to each other that normally wouldn't talk to each other. 
uh, because of the hard work done by not only our Intel organization at, at CENTCOM and DIA, but the operators, the men and, and, and women in uniform, um, I think all of our teams, all of our leadership here, we stress the coordination as well as the collaboration efforts with the rest of the, uh, the COCOMs and as well as with the, the other DIA elements. Our relationship with DIA is particularly special. We collaborate on intelligence and they provide a depth of analytic understanding that we may not have in the field. The most important thing that the intelligence function does here at CENTCOM is making sure that we understand this very dynamic environment, understand what's changing every day, where the trends are changing in the region, and the things that we have to be paying attention to, and we can make sure we're ready to deal with those challenges as they, as they present themselves, and, and they will present themselves in this area. A special thanks to the men and women of CENTCOM for their support. Thank you for watching. And be sure to join us for the next episode of DIA's Beyond the Beltway.